afternoon YouTube. In this video, we'll be looking at are the spirit world keeping you awake or waking you up. I hear it so many times across the board, across my YouTube, across my Facebook, my email, my classes, my mentor, the list is absolutely endless. Spirit world waking me up, Charlie. Three o'clock every morning, they wake me up. They wake me up and I'm, I'm so tired and I can't work, I can't sleep, I'm, I'm getting agitated. Why, why are they waking me up? And the reality is, they are not waking you up. And let me explain how and why. So I need to give you a very earthly example for you to understand how this process works. So let's say you're going to work. So uh, a lot of you watching this will uh, have a full-time job. Uh, and you may have had a nightmare yesterday in work. You may have had an absolute nightmare. Uh, and maybe accounts have gone wrong or the wrong order's been picked or whatever example you can think of there. It's been a disastrous day at work. You go home and it's really impacted on your daily uh, uh, life. You go home and maybe you've got the ump and maybe you've got someone to go home to. If you're, if you're lucky enough, you may have family there. And, and as you go home, you go in and your mood ain't right and you become snappy and you start shouting at people and so on and so forth. You get the, the idea of what's going on. And, and you go to bed with, uh, with the, the thoughts process that... Do you know what? Tomorrow is going to be an absolute nightmare. It's just going to be a horrendous day. I know it already. You go, in, you get up, you go into work, and and there you go. Your your day is exactly what you thought was going to happen. You come home and you tell your partner or you tell people, I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. It was just, I knew it was going to be a terrible day. And then I go in, and it was a terrible day. That same process there in your mind of intention is the thing that wakes you up at three o'clock. It's the thing that makes you look for the spirit world when they're there. So you're caught in a twilight zone, you know, maybe day one you, you get woken at three. There may have been a noise or you've got something playing on your mind and you have a disturbed night's sleep. And so you wake up and with the intent, you're like, what was that? What, what was that? What was that that was going on there? You know, I heard a noise. And a lot of people that are new to uh, spiritualism, they go, what, what, what was that noise? And, and immediately fear kicks in. There'll be an element of fear, not understanding. Um, and so they will hear a noise and they immediately go, what was that? And so the fear goes out. And as that fear goes out, it's like your mind is like your worst enemy at that point. They're like, there's someone in the house. There's someone in the house. What what are we gonna do? Or, or 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 uh, uh, it's a spirit. There's there, there's there's a ghost in here. And in that process, you go through this uh, 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 this fear uh, roller coaster. You know, you get up and you go and check, and uh, and hopefully there's no one there. Um, and, and the spirit world are are, are not there in the context of the conversation. So what happens is like you may you may be someone that uh, has started communicating uh, or development. You may be um, excited by this. You know you've sat circle a few times, or uh, it's been you know in, in the process for the last year, and, and you're excited. At every opportunity you'll go to the spirit world. At every opportunity you'll search for the spirit world. At every opportunity your mind is going there. What if? What if? What if? And so if you are someone that walks into the kitchen and, uh, and as you're in the kitchen, um, you become aware of uh, a man or you become aware of a communicator, let's say. Uh, you'll then start to go, every time I walk in the kitchen, there, there, there's like, I'm aware of a man. There's someone there. There's someone from the spirit world communicating with me every time I walk into the kitchen. So now the ideal or the foundation that you have set is that when I walk into the kitchen, I can communicate with the spirit world. So the moment you walk in, your intent, your mind shifts the gear to go to the spirit world. Therefore, the communication, of course, will happen in the kitchen. Some of you may believe that that is the only place that you can do it. Uh, I've got some quite funny stories on, on the places that some people could only get a communication. Um, so we'll just keep this one to the kitchen because it seems quite normal. So every time I walk into the kitchen, there it is, there's the spirit world. 
Now, if you go with the, if you go to bed with the idea that you know you may be woken up or the spirit world are waking me up, they keep waking me up. Why do they keep waking me up? At three o'clock, when your body clock then screams, you need to wake up, and you wake up. Your mind goes to the spirit world. Of course, you're going to find the spirit world. I could be on the bus. I could be in the shop. I could be in the bathroom. I could be just walking down the street. If I look for the spirit world, I will find the spirit world. That's how the intent works. That's what's going on. So you wire yourself mechanically uh, um, and through the, the neurons of the, the, the brain, the neuro pathways, you you wire it so you go to the spirit world. It's there, it's happening for you because that's the intent you've gone in with. So you wake up at three o'clock, you look at the alarm clock, it's three o'clock, oh my God, the spirit world have woke me up again. Look for the spirit world, surprise, surprise, you find the spirit world. The spirit world cannot make us do anything, absolutely nothing whatsoever. If the spirit world could intervene in such a way, there would be uh, divine interventions from um, people that are harmed, murdered, raped. They would, they, they would step in and remove you. They would turn the course. They would do that, wouldn't they? You step out in front of a vehicle, they'd pick you up and move you out of the way. The spirit world cannot do that kind of thing. They are of a spiritual consciousness. We are of physical matter. So they cannot wake you up, they cannot uh, uh, harm you, they cannot hurt you in any way whatsoever. The intent is the power there, the intent is what you're doing. So the spirit world uh, uh, won't be waking you up. However, if you keep waking up at three o'clock and you keep looking for the spirit world, you're gonna keep finding them. In my process, in my setup, because I was very early uh, in my development once upon a time, I had the same belief, you know, three o'clock, here we go, I'm gonna wake up the spirit world to wake me up. I soon realized that I can't do a day job, I can't develop for you guys there in the spirit world and uh, and not be snappy and not, not have the ump if you keep waking me up at three o'clock. So it then got to the point where I would wake up at three o'clock, I'd, I'd look for the spirit world, I'd find the spirit world, then I would say, do you know what? You can wait till eight o'clock in the morning when I wake up, or six o'clock, or five o'clock, whatever your time is when you wake up. You can wait till then. Because uh, uh, right now, I'm tired. Right now, I am gonna be useless for you tomorrow as an instrument or as a voice for you, as a medium tomorrow, if I am fatigued, I am tired, and I am grouchy. So you, go away for now, and, and when I wake up later on, we'll have this conversation then, when I then move my intention to go and speak to them. That may sound rude, that may sound uh, like, uh, uh, I'm disrespectful in some sort of way there, but you have to understand that that is the discipline of our mind. The spirit world will always be there. They understand that we have a daily routine. They understand that we have a earthly life here. And waking you up at three o'clock in the morning is not gonna do anyone any favors. However, if you keep ringing someone at three o'clock in the morning and, and they keep picking the phone up, of course, eventually they're gonna say, do you know what, can this not wait till eight o'clock? Can this not wait till we get into work? Can this not wait till said time? So it's exactly the same process there. Uh, the spirit world understand. So the spirit world are not waking you up at three o'clock in the morning. Your intention is waking you up at three o'clock in the morning. So I'm sure I'll upset some of you. Uh, and I'm sure I would have enlightened some of you. Uh, so uh, leave your comments in the comment box and I'll see you all in the next video.